hello everyone so welcome to my first video on this channel so i'll be doing competitive programming on this channel uh, basically i am a four star coder on code chef and, and specialist on code forces and in today's video i'll be taking this watching cpl question from january long challenge of code chef so hope you like this video if you do like press the like button and subscribe for more content so here's the statement for the question uh, you can find the link of the question in description so here's the statement i'll basically explain you the question if you want you can pause the video and read it and give it a try so the question states that there is a wall of height k and mike and tracy mike and tracy wants to watch the match which is across the wall over the wall so there are n boxes lying outside of given height let's say hi hi plus one whatever so they both want to make a tower for each of them so that they could stand over that tower and watch the match so the tower height should be equal to or greater than k so they have to make two towers from these boxes to watch the match and each box could only be used by either Mike or Tracy to make their tower so a box cannot be in both the towers so this actually looks like a knapsack problem and the general approach could be brute force but the time complexity would be too much for that and the given constraints are you can see the constraints the given constraints are uh, for there would be five test cases and n and k would be 4000 and the h i height of each boxes could be 10 to the power 5 k is the height of the wall so they want two towers of height k or greater than k and there would be n boxes to make the tower the two tower and the subtask are n and k could be less than or equal to 100 and hi would be also less than or equal to 100 let me take a array of height okay so we have to make height of tower 20 we have to make two towers of height 20 so either the brute force approach could be uh, like this box could go in either t1 the tower first or in t2 or nowhere the box could go in either t1 t2 or nowhere similarly for second box similarly for third box fourth box for each box either they can go in t1 or t2 or x so you have to find the minimum number of boxes to make those towers so how we can code this this is brute force approach and we can approach steps by steps to our optimal solution so how we are going to code this so let's say for n equals to 1 the for box equals to 1 either we'll take that box in t1 or t2 or nowhere let's say we took the first box in t1 so for n equals to 2 we can take again in t1 in t2 or in nowhere similarly for t if we took the box in t2 first box in t2 for second box we can take again in t1 in t2 or nowhere and if we didn't took the first box in any of the tower we can take that we can take the second box either in t1 t2 or nowhere so we have to find the minimum of this this and likewise we'll get the answer from the top of the recursion so you can see the code so you can see this function which will be calling recur recursively to calculate for each of the box so I'll, i'm passing the current height of the tower t1 the current height of tower t2 the total height i want the k height of the wall then the count of boxes in t1 and the count of boxes in t2 so whenever the height of tower t1 as well as the height of tower t2 exceeds or equals to k 
I'll be returning both the counts as I want the total number of boxes required to make those towers. And if the current box, let's say the n, exceeds the size of the height array means there are no boxes left and our t1 and t2 both didn't uh, satisfy that condition that means we didn't able to make those towers so we will return int max later on uh, if both of the conditions didn't satisfied we'll be calculating uh, if we took the first box in tower t1 so let's say the t1 already is greater than k so we don't want to take the box as taking the box will obviously increasing the number of boxes and we don't want that as it is already satisfying the condition of greater than k or equal to k so let's say the t1 is less than k we'll take the current box in t1 and calculate the further recursions we are adding the uh, current height of box to the t1 and as well as uh, the number of boxes is also incre increased by 1 for t1 we are not changing anything to t2 tower and the count of t2 similarly we will calculating for t2 the same if the t2 is satisfied we won't calculate the further recursion for that so we will return int max if the height of t2 tower 2 is less than k we will calculate the further recursion by taking the current box in t2 nothing to do with t1 and in incrementing the count of t2 by 1 and let's say we don't want to take the current box in both of them so we will not increment anything here t2 and t t1 are uh, nothing changed and both the counts are same so, and finally we will return the minimum of those three so the, this would be the answer but it will definitely give us time limit exceeded for both of the ta task even for the subtask so we have to improvise it a little more so what we can do is uh, we can see that this state the for no one state for taking in neither of the tower is useless actually in any of the case why if we uh, sort the height array in descending order the f first one is the most uh, heighted box second one is less then like this from a uh, decreasing manner if we sort that then it would be useless to not take this box in either of the tower because if we don't take the biggest box in either of the tower it will definitely want to increase our boxes later on by adding more boxes to make cover that height so it is more optimally to always take the first second and like in in decreasing order wise in either of the tower either in t1 or t2 this box should go at least in t1 or at, at, at t2 so if we sort the array in descending order later on we can eliminate this 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 uh, part of our tree and we can improve a little bit in our recursion table so that could be the this, this you can see the code here so i eliminated the for, for no one as i sorted my array in descending order so i eliminated the need for no one box and then i just have to calculate for the, if we took the box in tower t1 or in tower 2 t2 so this will definitely gonna pass the subtask as there are less number of recursion going on so still we we are thinking that this will take a lot of time to compute and the first task is still remaining to solve so we can think of a dp solution to store the memoization technique so to store the parts of our tree as many of them might be repeating so we can create a dp state like this uh, T G and T S. So what are those? So T G would be the tower which have great greater height. So which have larger height and T S would be the tower with larger height and T S would be the tower with smaller height. 
so why we are doing like this the first one would be the bigger right and the second one would be the smaller right because uh, it doesn't matter that the first tower is getting bigger first or the second tower is getting bigger first uh, you can change the position also let's say the t1 is this and t2 is this it doesn't matter if t1 is this and t2 is this we because we have to make both the towers greater than k so eventually we are going to make both the towers greater than k so we will be taking the first tower as the height which uh, the tower which have a larger height and the second would have the smaller height this is the solution for dp so we can create a dp of 4001 and 4001 as our height uh, would be we just need the height of this much 4000 this is the limit of k constraint of k in our question we'll be initializing our dp state with minus 1 for all the values and later on if the dp is not yet calculated if it is calculated will be written simply the state if it is not calculated we will calculate it and store in the dp so you can see here like if the t1 is greater so we'll make the first first state with t1 and the second with t2 else we'll make t2 as the t2 would be great larger than t1 so the first would be t2 and second one would be t1 so we can store this dp and calculate the height but this solution would be giving us a little bit problem in the sense let's say so how does that be creating a problem so let's say our fir first tower was 3999 and we need a k of height of 4000 and so second tower is still at 2000 so what if the current box is height of 100 uh, so if we took that box in the first we are satisfying the condition of greater than 4000 and if we took that box in this it's okay we'll be getting 2100 but in the case when we are taking this box the height of 100 box in the first tower whose height is 3999 it would become actually greater than 4000 so it would become something like 4199 right sorry 4099 yeah the height would become 4099 and if we are just making the dp of state till 4001 4001 so this would be definitely exceeding this limit and we'll get a segmentation error of retrieving the element from out of the array so this will definitely gonna take us it will still give us the subtask one x a pass because the k in that is just less than equal to 100 so this will work 4000 in that task but for the larger task where the k could be 4000 uh, we have to make some arrangements so that this could be handled in this dp state so instead of fixing 4000 here we can use a map map of int and vector which will contain the first one could be greater than 4000 might be 5000 or something but the vect vector will be the vector of height 4000 only because the as soon as the smaller tower reaches the 4000 4000 limit we have to st stop our recursion and we, we don't have to insert that into a dp state so for just the first value we would require greater than 4000 and for second value we won't require greater than 4000 so for larger subtasks we would be shifting from this dp state to this dp state that's that's just that's the only thing we are doing for the larger subtask you can see the final solution here for larger subtask so this is my recursion function and this is my dp state if t1 is greater than t2 means the tower first is greater than tower 2 so basically the t1 would be the key of my map and 
the t2 would be in vector so i will be retaining t state and if the t2 is greater than t1 so t2 would be my key and i'll be retaining this state else if i haven't calculated this state yet i'll be calculating a similar from my earlier code likewise and storing the storing method here is if t1 is greater in from t2 i'll i'll store in key value pair as t1 would be my key and value would be a vector of 4000 because the t t2 would be still smaller than 4001 because if it's not then eventually the recursion should not have come here it should already have returned from above condition as both would be greater than k but here you can see it's not both of them are not greater than k the first one would be greater than k and second one be definitely smaller than k so you can create a vector of 4000 for that if it's empty and store in that value else if t2 is greater than t1 we will store in opposite manner likewise and finally returning the answer so this is the final solution here you can check out and so yeah that was my approach for this question there might be some easier approach for this question or some might be harder approach but the eventually you have how to approach the question as i have shown in this video steps by steps but first of all taking the brute force technique and then later on optimizing it by dp and finally realizing that dp would not satisfy the condition for greater than 4000 so making a map instead of a fixed array so yeah thank you for watching the video and hope you like it